Hey guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly video tonight for uh, Tuesday, May the 15th. And we had a pretty ugly day, an uh, unsettling day, I guess, for most as we have been in kind of rally mode uh, the last, I believe, eight days in a row. And we were taken down a little bit today. Um, kind of knocked the wind out of the sails and the the reason there there are a couple things going on behind the scenes. One of the main things was Home Depot reported earnings before the bell and missed. And um, you know this was uh, it was a surprise because as you guys know, I think we've all been bullish on Home Depot. I think we all made money on this run into earnings. Glad we you know glad we sold before earnings actually happened. Um, I also had piggybacked a Lowe's trade, L-O-W, off this same run and, and closed it ahead of Home Depot because I just didn't know uh, what was going to happen. And um, the story is that uh, if you read the transcripts and all, it's primarily due to soft sales on the uh, less retail spending overall at Home Depot, but it's softer, much softer on the garden side um, than typical for Home Depot and uh, that hurt them and that was due to uh, late spring and so forth anyway um, the reason that that's important is Home Depot makes up 5.2 I believe 8 percent of the Dow waiting wise you know so here's the Dow so what happens when Home Depot goes down the Dow goes down and you know this accounted for um, I read this morning it was about half of the drop and that may have been a catalyst to kind of get things started uh, on the downside. Also, you know, you have to think ahead and realize that if Home Depot, you know, retail sales uh, came in that soft, and this was the first time in five years that Home Depot has actually not raised guidance, um, that there's a chance that other retailers are going to see soft quarters, and that means, you know, maybe the consumer is uh, not spending and so forth. So you know you can extrapolate that into all kind of different directions but you know the point is it spooked the market and um, you know so we need to if you have anything in Lowe's which reports next Tuesday a week from today um, be very careful you know because we're likely to get the same kind of uh, quarter and I was looking at this this morning too and you know we had this big flush down and then right before the bell open we had this big spike up all the way back to where we we closed and then of course it just you know it just faded um, still not sure what that was but um, you know as far as Home Depot as a stock I, yeah, I still like it I still like it here um, I'm not buying it I'm not long but I like it and if we get a pullback I don't even know what level I would buy it at yet uh, because what you need to do on these earnings plays is one you know determine from a price standpoint or you know wherever you're willing to step back in and, and be a buyer um, but two you really need to I always let the smoke clear for a couple of days and see you know kind of see what um, what what happens because sometimes you get a tendency to have follow through you know days for 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 several or quite a few days in a row so don't be aggressive and jump back in here but I do still like it longer term and when I mean longer per term I'm talking more from a um, less of an option standpoint and more of a buy the stock, covered right, sell naked puts, that kind of thing. Uh, so anyway, as that relates to the Dow, we also turn back over here to the S&P. And we had a, a, a suspenseful, terribly boring day, you know, in the S&P. And, and the reason, and I'm drawing these lines terribly but uh, the reason I say it's suspenseful is because um, the you know we opened up the futures um, the ES futures were down I want to say we we're down eight seven and a half eight something like that and we quick, quickly went down 14 15 and at one point we were down I think 25 and we came into these levels here it was actually 2702 I believe Carolyn had that on a 120 minute chart I believe and it held it held right here and I believe it held there it held there and then we kind of had the the typical little uptick right at the end of the day that we so often see um, you know so what does that mean does that mean we're gonna get 
you know, are, are we back in business or what? And to, you know, one, nobody knows, but two, we have to back out here on a little bit longer time frame. Obviously, this, you know, kind of uh, was, was unsettling because um, we dropped down here. And, and again, the reason I say it was unsettling is because I thought all day long this was going to break, 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 and we could have, this could have started a snowball effect that would have, could have turned ugly, right? So let's go back out here to the one-year chart and look, and I'll zoom this in. You know, we continue to fail um, at these extensions, you know, each and every time, and it looks possible that we might fail again. You know, that 27 level did hold. Maybe this is just a slight move and we bounce higher. Um, if that fails, obviously, you know, we're, we've got lower levels down here to deal with. The reason that this is makes it tough is, so at this point, again, do we go long? Do we go short? I, you know, I don't know. It's it's a tough, tough call. If you get, if you do too much hedging or downside, trying to um, you know get creative on the downside for the next big drop down, you could get left in the dust if we turn and go straight up. So, you know, um, I don't have an answer. You know, at this point in time, I'm watching the VIX. We did get a, a pretty good little move up in vol um, today, and I thought that would have settled back out a little bit. Uh, but it didn't. So um, we need to we need to watch the S&P. We need to watch the Nasdaq. We need to watch the Russell. The Russell's been the strongest of the bunch. Um, but you know, primarily, I'm watching the S&P to see if this is going to uh, fade and fail, or if we're going to get a foothold and you know and move higher. And if we do, and I I am hopeful that this does hold, and you know it would be. It, you know, in the way trading goes, it would be healthy to burn off some of this energy to the downside before getting another burst of energy to run higher. That would be my ideal scenario. Um, but, you know, that may not happen. It may do one of these and we roll over and just, just kind of keep going. So, all that being said, you know, there's no, uh, there's no right or wrong answer here. Um, some people will short and be right and some people will go long and they'll be right. Um, I think that key now is picking individual names probably more than direction in the index because it's totally a coin toss at this you know at this time so just be careful out there uh, size small and uh, wait till we get conviction in the move uh, up or down uh, before you know before ramping up the size and uh, with that I wind it up hope this was helpful and um, you guys have a great trading day and I will uh, next time I see you um, and we'll get together next time and try to make a little more money so thanks a lot guys I appreciate it have a great night